Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Super Powers video. And today it comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. This is an early look at their brand new Wave 5, the entirety of this new Super Powers lineup, featuring a 1990s Flash, specifically from the storyline Opposites Attract. And I think this one's actually pretty cool. I take back all the things I said about it on the last video I did. But the backside has a little bit of a write-up. You get to see all 21 figures now for the McFarlane Superpowers, along with a little bit of a bio for Wally West. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and screen grab it for when these start to hit store shelves. Now, this one is one of those where I go, eh, it's Rebirth Superman, right? It's not exactly an ideal Superman. Faster than a speeding bullet, you get a little bit of a write-up for old soups. And here's the barcode for this variant Superman, along with Thomas Wayne, the Flashpoint Batman. And this one's interesting. And so is the box art, right? <laughs> they tried with that one. On the back side, you get to read up a little bit on Thomas Wayne and how his whole dealio goes. Here's the barcode for Thomas Wayne Batman. And we have Nightwing. Now, Nightwing is specifically from the 90s, Nightfall. You get the idea. The artwork definitely does not reflect that, but you get the idea at this point, right? It's not always going to match up talk to wb about that one but the barcode here if you want to go ahead and grab a nightfall nightwing and you have robin now we just got a robin in the last wave this one is more of a kenner inspired we'll kind of sort of say batman returns release right the whole dark knight collection yada yada along with this guy right here which is equally as awesome. So you have a little bit of a Michael Keaton all black bat suits, gold. Looks pretty darn cool. And if you want to read up on Batman, it's basically the same bios that we get over and over. And here's the barcode for this not really Troika suit, Batman, right? So then you have this three pack, which is just simply awesome, right? Peacemaker, Judo Master, and Vigilante. That is so cool to see. Minus any accessories, right? Would have been nice. Again, talk to WB about that. But on the back side, you get write-up bios for the Peacemaker, right? Judo Master, and of course, Vigilante. It's like a show recently came out, right? I wonder. And of course, here's the barcode for this three-pack. Now, there will be a store exclusive, at least here in the United States, as far as nothing has changed, right? But this is Reverse Flash, Professor Zoom. He will be a Walmart store exclusive. Just keep that one in mind. And then the backside, same exact card. You get to see all the figures, all the characters. A little bit of a write-up for Professor Zoom, Eobard. And of course, the barcode as well for Reverse Flash. Now, all these figures need a vehicle, right? Well, at least Batman. So you have the Whirly Bat, Batman's Aerial Pursuit copter simplicity is the name of the game here not much to it but dang is this one a lot of fun get ready for this press to spin the rotor blades and it only seats one figure we'll be testing that out rest assured but if you were wondering if you're running in any situations here's how to assemble it along with the barcode for the old whirly bat so this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the entirety of the McFarlane Toys era of Superpowers Wave 5. And while I got all you super dupers here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vid. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, yada yada, you get the idea by now. We'll kick it off with Thomas Wayne Batman. I ended up liking this figure. I think that it actually looks pretty cool in hand. You can't hold anything. You can't have any guns with him. He's just a figure, and that's really it. Nice paints, nice eyes. Really like the cape. It's more of a gray color. It's very much a perfect superpowers cape, unlike the first wave with those taffeta things. But, of course, we have the WB Mandates. He can't have guns. He's got the basic articulation with the legs and the straps and all that jazz. But it is actually a pretty cool figure. But he is just going to stand there. Superman, this one really does nothing for me. 
Not a big fan of the rebirth costume. He's missing the trunks. It might be for some of you out there. It's just not what I ideally think of Superman. But I do like the cape, and they finally put the S on the back, and it's a really nice cape. So if anything, <laughs> I recommend the cape, right? That's what uh, I'll be using that for. And to then get into the three-pack, we have Peacemaker himself, John Cena. <laughs> At this point, that's how everyone will know Peacemaker. But I love the colors. I like the old school nature of him. This is a nigh perfect figure if he would have come with a gun, of course. But he does have an open hand, so if you find an appropriate gun, which I'm definitely going to have to find, yeah, you are in good shape. I'm liking that they actually put the hand there so that you could figure it out for yourself, even if they can't sell it that way. But Vigilante, he's in the same boat. Unfortunately, though... He can't hold anything. He just has fisted hands. But they really crisped up the paints on this. I especially like his yellow belts. Very simplistic. Very old school. He just has a nice vibe going on. And I totally dig it. So another home run for this three-pack. Can we get a third? Yeah, Judo Master is pretty darn cool. Nice and bright. And you would think, of course, he would have a Judo Chop, right? He'd have that button on the back and chop like the old superpowers toys, right? That would have been very, very cool, but I like his little ponytail situation going on. He's got the belt. They have changed the cuffs of the pants right there. That's nice to see. The costume is different. So overall, this is an excellent three-pack. It would have been so much better if they had accessories and whatnot, but it's pretty darn cool. And then you have the Walmart exclusive in the United States, Professor Zoom, Eobard Thrawn, whatever you want to call him, Reverse Flash. He's basically Flash with a new head sculpt, which I totally dig. I totally appreciate that. If they have to change something, please do something, right? But he's got nice yellows, nice reds, nice logo on the front of his costume. That's a nice-looking Reverse Flash. I do say so myself. Followed by the 90s Flash. And again, when I did a news video about this, I thought, yeah, it's not really doing much for me. In hand, totally dig it. He is totally a total justice Flash, from the colors to his Flash logo, everything about this is very well done. And I totally appreciate it for its 90s qualities, even though he didn't have the chin strap and all that. That's one thing. But I really like the way they did the eyes. I think the eyes are very pronounced. Everything about this figure rocks. It's just a really nice Flash figure overall. And then we have Nightwing. Nightfall. Nightwing. The colors are great. I like the golds that they use, the blues. It's very much that 90s costume, but he doesn't have the mullet, and that's really what makes this Nightwing that Nightwing. He does come with his scream of sticks, which he gets two of them. So you get one figure in this group that has some sort of weapons to him. Basic articulation. He's a little bit too buff, right? He's even more buff than Batman when I show you the comparisons in just a few but it's 90s Nightwing, so I dig it. And along with this Robin, which again, we just got a Robin in the prior wave. This one is more darker colors. He has an all black cape this time around, which still isn't right. It should be two-tone, right? Black on the back, yellow underneath. I do like this Robin as well. I like the lighter tones from the prior wave. I like the darker tones from this wave. I like them both. Right, different feelings, different Robins, you get the idea. All of them Tim Drake, but this one just has a cool Kenner feel along with this Batman. All black costume, Batman, Batman Returns, just that 90s era of Batman toys. Great cape on this guy. Again, the head portrait, he gets a little bit chinified, but it's still pretty nice, I have to say. This is fun to have in this day and age. And for $10 a piece, at least for all the singles, yeah, that's a great looking Batman. My one complaint again is that I wish he had open hands that he could hold something, right? But again, that chin, that is a that is a well-pronounced chin, if I do say so myself. But like I said, all these figures, you definitely need a vehicle. And the Whirly Bat delivers. It's pretty darn fun, I have to say. You got the propellers, you got all the different parts and pieces. You have to assemble everything yourself, but it literally takes about two seconds. You got some stickers with some sonar and the buttons and the bat logos. Again, it's very, very simple, very light. Not a whole lot going on, but it makes for a very fun vehicle that fits in really well 
with superpowers. And I like the color again that they chose for the windshield. That's pretty cool to see with this little button right here. You push that in, it gets the propellers spinning. And what's better than a vehicle with a little propeller spinny action, right? Very cool to see. Absolutely love it. One of the best vehicles they have done so far, especially if you got this Batman, which you get him seated right there in the cockpit. That is so cool. And yes, they were right on the box. You can only fit one figure at a time. Whatever. You can always have figures hanging off the sides or get them some grappling hooks, which again, see, that would be kind of cool to put in the box, right? A little string, a little Batman grapnel. I'd like to see that for later waves. That would be awesome. Please do that for all later Batman figures. Batarangs, bat grapnel, simply just a piece of string on a bat rope. Boom. You, you nail it. You do great things. You can even have Robin flying the whirly copter, right? Or you can have Peacemaker in the old whirly bird. Doesn't matter. All figures fit. And if you want to see the difference between the prior released Batmans and their Robins, did a little thing where I combined the two Robins capes. So basically you have black on the outside and yellow underneath. See, that's correct. But again, same figures, just different deco, but both of them are my favorites at this point. But I really appreciate, again, this very Kennerfied Batman right here because of one of my favorite vehicles. And yes, I do know that this was a prior Silverhawks vehicle. Totally gets it, but I loves it. And again, still to this day, will always be one of my favorite Batman vehicles. And this Batman goes great inside it and just to kind of show you some matchups you see nightwing batman robin all that 90s action yeah that for the most part goes together but nightwing is entirely too buff we all know that and of course if you got yourself some dc multiverse stands you can get professor zoom and flash running down the speed force doing flashpoint or whatever they do anyways that'll wrap it up for my look at the entirety of Wave 5 for the McFarlane Toys Superpowers line. And again, thank you to my friends over at McFarlane Toys for sending these out for the purposes of this video. There is a lot of repaints and reuse in this wave, as we can clearly all see. Some of it definitely works. Some of it, it's like, yeah, there's cool things about it here and there. I think the bottom of the wave is definitely Superman, followed by Thomas Wayne. Thomas Wayne being that he can't hold anything, he doesn't really do much, he doesn't do anything in terms of his character. But everyone else, Batman, Robin, Nightwing, especially the three-pack, and Professor Zoom for the Walmart exclusive. I know, the grunts and groans. It's a pretty solid wave overall. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything superpowers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we got to get some more villains going, right? Let's get some scarecrow action. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.